Located in Greenfield's Crossroads Cultural District, the Lava Center, which stands for Local Access to Valley Arts, is a new arts incubator, black box theater, and community space. Opening just last year, the center's goal is to create opportunities in the performing and literary arts through a variety of events, classes, and workshops. I spoke with the co-coordinators to learn more about what the center has to offer for the community and why collaboration between the arts is so important. We created the Lava Center to be a community arts center that encourages people to become involved and learn in and through the arts. That's the sort of founding statement of Local Access, which is the not-for-profit behind the Lava Center. And that has always been for us also uh, education and humanities, so to kind of a, a mix of those things. Franklin County has truly become a notable arts destination in this region, with the center located right in the heart of Greenfield's Crossroads Cultural District. Why is a venue like this necessary for the city? I think it's necessary because there's, there isn't anything else quite like it. We kind of fill this, this niche where it's uh, the, community, the community arts, where anyone can come and do something artistic, whether it's performing or displaying their visual art or hosting meetings and classes. Yeah, I think there just isn't anything quite, quite like that. Yeah, we are, uh, we're, we're at a crossroads physically in Greenfield, and we are really a crossroads of a lot of different art forms, too. So we have spaces that focus on the visual arts. We have organizations that focus on performing arts. We have organizations that are about the spoken word and poetry. All of that goes on at the Lava Center. So it's a place for, for artists of all kinds to come and mingle together and kind of... Um, feed off each other's energy in a way. This collaboration that you're speaking of, Jan, um, in an article with the Greenfield Recorder, you stated that you want people to know that you're not in competition with them and that you're complimenting them. Why is this collaboration mm -hmm. between the arts so vital? One thing that comes to my mind immediately is because our resources are so limited. Um, we don't, um, we, you know, we don't need to fight over crumbs. We need to collect our crumbs together with a stone soup kind of model, you know, and make a whole cake out of your crumbs, my crumbs, the other person's crumbs. We might have enough to, to have a, a dessert, you know. Um, and another thing is that that's just not the way creativity works. It just doesn't work that way. It's, it's an exchange of ideas. It's a free flow of ideas. And to be in competition with somebody else's ideas um, in a way that would suppress them or overcome them does not make any sense whatsoever. One of your recent collaborations um, was with the Greenfield Farmers Market. You had the first ever art market day where customers could find local artisan vendors along with farm and food vendors. How did the community receive this event and in what other ways do you plan to partner with local events and institutions? Yeah, the, the art market day, I think, went really well. It was, the weather was, it was really hot and sticky. So people were very slow and sluggish, but the people who did came were really engaging um, with, with our booth and what we were doing. So we had on display, we have these um, historic postcards of Greenfield from back in the day. We got those blown up to these posters and we placed that like lawn signs. And we placed them all around the commons so people could see this exact scene of, you know, the city hall and the church, what that looks like a hundred years ago on this, this poster. Then we invited people to our booth on the common that day to make their own postcard. We had craft materials, construction paper, and, you know, it was mostly kids who did it, but there were some grownups too who came and, and drew a postcard of, of their Greenfield, how they saw Greenfield, whether that was literal or, or figurative. We are a small space and we are generally a very casual space. You know, I think of us as very welcoming. You know, people just kind of pop in and they're like, oh, what's going on? And we're like, come on in, hang out, you know, do something. And I think people really are responding to that very casual, welcoming, inclusive uh, space that we have. And this just this uh, attitude that we have about the arts as being for everyone, as being a vital part of the community. And that I think is where our, 
our part of our mission as an arts incubator comes in. People do come in and they they meet other artists and they talk about, oh, we could do this, we could do this, we could do this. And things have emerged just as a result of people coming and hanging out and having these conversations. Mm -hmm. As co-coordinators, what has been your favorite thing about this center and what do you want people to know about it? I would say my favorite thing is just to stand near the back and see the space fill with a small or large group of people who are there to enjoy anything together in community, you know, whether it's a reading or an open mic or a musical event or a echo lecture, just to see the space bring people together with common interests, common enthusiasms, and then to listen in on the conversations. Uh, the same as Jan's, it's just watching all, just these different type people from all walks of life who just have this shared interest in art or community. And one, uh, one example that I have is one of the artists that comes into our space a lot works with natural materials like bark and hornet's nests. Mm -hmm. And I've seen him connect with other artists and just gleefully talk about his process. And then, you know, they will go and find bark for him or find a hornet's nest for him and bring it into the space and leave it for him there. Mm -hmm. So just that, that collaboration between artists is so, so cool to me and to see and to see the product of that, <clears throat> to see people coming in and talking about, oh, I was just talking to so-and-so about this thing, or, you know, just that, that word of mouth that happens and, and that excitement that people get about, about community arts specifically, about this thing that's arts as this accessible medium. It's, you know, anybody can do it. Anybody can participate in it in, in however way that they, they're inspired to.